what is reverse polarity and specifically in the case of SMA connectors. Okay, there is no way to keep this simple. Unfortunately, we sit with the situation where you have reverse polarity and you had standard or conventional polarity for your SMAs, TNCs, and I've seen it also on um, N-type connectors as well. What is it? Well, the thing is, and I've, I've done this video a few times already, but it keeps coming back, so we thought we'll, we'll keep just um, producing the same story because it's important to understand and it's always going to be an issue. Reverse polarity has nothing to do with anything on the signal or any fancy electronics or anything significant other than the fact that the pin on the inside is a socket for the one or the other, depending on what connector you are. Now, another issue that we have is in, it seems, all sorts of other industries, the electricity industry or security industry, the definition of male or female plugs or jacks, it all differs between industries. So we go, us as out of shop, but I think us as industry as well, we go by a common definition. And what I said in the previous video, and I'm just putting it on the screen there, you look at the outside of the connector. Just look at the body. You say, well, this is one with a nut. When it has a nut, when it's in, it's in case of SMA and also with um, TNC and N-type connectors, we call that the male body or a plug. So that's it. If you see it as a nut, it is going to be the male or a plug. Those are the two words that get used um, one or the other way. And I always refer to our main supplier, Jibo's um, website. If, if I ever have any confusion, um, I just go to their website and I just check up the definitions. It also always matches Wikipedia and all sorts of um, uh, competing or alternative suppliers, the, the mainstream big names, Huber and Suna, Amph and all those kind of companies. You look at that Pasnik, you look at them and it always has the same definition for mail or plugs. Right, so you look at the body, you see it looks like a male because it has a nut. On the inside, when it is a male, you expect to see a pin. So, you know, a little pin. That's it. So then it's conventional, that's what you expect to see, that's normal. If it's reverse polarity, there's no pin, there's a socket. In other words, you have a male body with the female socket. That is reverse polarity, it's the other way around. You can put them together, they're physically the same thread, the same connectors, they just have different genders on the inside and that's where the problem comes in because you can mess it up. If you have a, a male and a male on the inner connect, um, trying to connect, you're going to damage the connector because you have two um, pins trying to clash. If you have two sockets and you have no connection and you have big trouble because you don't get a connection through, I've seen it, I've been there myself. So it's not like I'm saying, well, this is obvious. I've been there, made the mistake, had more, lots of stress that my system wasn't working till we came to realize that we have the wrong connectors. All right, so there we go. Just a recap on the mail. Look at the body. If it's a nut, SMA, TNCs or N-type connectors, it is a male body, that's what you have as a male connector, always. So when we talk about reverse polarity male, we always look at the body and say, well, there you go, this is a male connector. On the inside, if it's a male pin, awesome, it is just conventional, that's what we expect. If it is a socket, it's reverse. Now, of course, the whole story then just goes to the jacks or the females, the same. So if it has an outer thread, which goes inside the, um, the nut, it's a jack. It's a female, um, and then you expect to see a socket. In other words, a component that can receive the pin, that's conventional, that is normal, that is a whatever. That is just a standard polarity. If it happens to have a pin for SMA, for TNCs, for N, it's the reverse polarity. You have a problem if you try to make, mix them up, but that's the way it is. So there you go, that's the definition. Now, you may ask, why is it different? Now there's a whole story behind this and then on Wikipedia they have a beautiful explanation of the history of this. Uh, it's the dumbest thing ever. I know, we sit with this, we can't do anything about it. But one rule of thumb that is very interesting or important to maybe remember to make life easier if you are a regular user of connectors, if it is a licensed application and we think about cellular bands, 5G, 4G, 3G, those kind of things, that tends to always be conventional straight SMA, just classic SMA connectors or TNC connectors. If it is unlicensed bands, in other words, think if you look at the history, if it's a band that you don't 
or didn't, this is what's the idea behind it, you don't really want to have standard connectors on. They used reverse to prevent people from doing things. Now, of course, that didn't quite work all that well, but if you look at the Teltonico router or any brand of router, there's two types of SMI connectors at the back. The conventional SMI is for the cellular bands. The reverse polarity SMIs is for the Wi-Fi IO unlicensed bands. I think that's about it. I mean, I, I'm going to probably do the same video again next year because this is an ongoing question. I was actually asked by the team at RF Shop, just do this video again because we just want to have a reference so we can tell people, look at the video, this is the explanation. I'm going to throw in a lot of images which you would have seen by the time that you are at this point of the video. That's it. Thanks for watching. I uh, trust I will see you in the next video soon, which is going to be about SMB connectors. Similar challenge. Um, I'm going to shoot that now um, on the spot. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Please visit our website. Let us know if you have any questions we can discuss on YouTube. As you can see today, I'm shooting this video from home. Not always at work in uh, like a professor studio. Today, I'm just thinking, I need to say this. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.